Welcome to How to Cook That, I'm Anne Reardon and today we're using chocolate to decorate cakes. Not modelling chocolate, just straight plain chocolate. And I'll show you how to make four different styles and these are a great option if the people you're making cakes for don't like fondant. Firstly, let's start with the chocolate cuff. If you want it patterned, then you'll need to buy a chocolate transfer sheet which come in all different patterns and the patterns on them are made out of coloured cocoa butter just on a sheet of acetate which is just thin plastic. You'll need to cut it to the correct height for your cake and then make sure it's long enough to go all the way around. If you need to make it longer, you can stick two pieces together. Just try and match up the pattern when you join the two pieces. Then put it shiny side onto the cake, not the cocoa butter side, so that you can check how long it needs to be. Mark where you need to cut it and then make it about half a centimetre bigger than that. Trim it to the right length and then place it on some baking paper with the rough cocoa butter side facing upwards. Then add your chocolate. If you're using real chocolate, you'll need to temper it. There is a video explaining what tempering is and how to do that on the channel. If you just click on how to cook that to go through to the channel, you'll find it there under the chocolate playlist. If you don't want to temper, then you can use compound chocolate, which doesn't need tempering. Let that chocolate set up a little bit and then wrap it around the cake. And once it's set, peel off the acetate and the cocoa butter pattern will stay on the chocolate. If you want your chocolate cuff perfect, then instead of wrapping it around the cake, you can wrap it around a round cylinder or a container that is covered in baking paper, just like we did in the chocolate transfer sheet dessert video. The second method is chocolate frills. And I just want to take a moment to show you this great leather bound journal that I got from another YouTuber called Jennifer and her channel's called Sea Lemon. I always jot down ideas for recipes and write down notes from my cooking experiments in a journal, so this has been great. You can check out her channel and she'll show you actually how to make this particular journal and how to bind books and do more DIY craft projects too. I'll add a link to her channel in the description just below this video. To make the chocolate frills, rip some non-stick baking paper into long rough strips Spread some chocolate onto a fresh sheet of baking paper and you can colour your chocolate using oil-based food colours so you can get at cake decorating stores. Then take a strip and gently press it into the chocolate and quickly peel it off. Then wrap that strip around the cake and once it's set firmly, peel the paper off. You can then add another strip of baking paper covered in chocolate and repeat that overlapping the layers until you get to the base of the cake. And you can use the same colour the whole way down or you can change the colour of the chocolate as you go. Number three is the double layered chocolate cuff. Make a short section of chocolate and place that onto the cake and then take another strip of plastic and cover the middle of it with chocolate and then on the edges pipe some circles of chocolate. Wrap this around your cake so that you have the patterned bit at the front overlapping the first bit that you put on. And this avoids having a join at the back of your cake. It makes it nice and neat. You can finish that one off by adding a real flower. And to do that, you get one of these little tubes from the florist. They hold a little bit of water in them and they hold the stem of the flower firmly in place by sealing it in at the top. Then all you need to do is make a hole in the cake and poke it in. The fourth method is to spread chocolate out onto baking paper and then when it's firming up cut it into rectangles. The smaller your cake is the narrower these rectangles are going to need to be so that it can bend around the cake. Once you've cut them place them weight on top to stop them from warping and let the chocolate set. Then add them to the cake overlapping them as you go all the way around. To finish it off, add some chocolate swirlies to the top of the cake and you can find out how to make them in the chocolate decorations video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to How to Cook That for more chocolate, cake decorating and dessert videos. Oh, and I forgot, I need your help with something. I've had heaps of requests for another surprise inside dessert. Some people want to have a Justin Bieber logo in it and some people want a Twitter logo. I'm only going to make one of those two, so let me know in the comments which one you want it to be and I'll make it for you after Christmas. Have a great week and I'll see you Friday.